Hi, I'm Mr. Riley, course leader for film studies at Bingley Grammar School. If you're watching this video, you're probably thinking about taking the subject next year. And if that's the case, I'd like to tell you a bit more about what you'll study. Throughout the course, you'll analyse a diverse range of films, including Documentary Film from the silent era Unconventional film And experimental film And for each film, we'll learn about a wide range of elements, such as the significance of film and film practice, both nationally and globally. Film and its key contexts, including social, cultural, political, historical and technological. Film as an aesthetic medium. How films generate meanings and responses. And the different ways in which spectators respond to film. The course itself is split into three parts. Component 1, which is an examined unit worth 35% of the overall course, offers opportunities to study mainstream American films from the past and the present, as well as a range of recent and contemporary British films. In this unit, the six films that we will study are Hitchcock's classic thriller Vertigo from 1958. Foreman's psychological drama One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest from 1975. Nolan's sci-fi thriller and one of my favourite films, Inception from 2005. The uniquely filmed and critically acclaimed coming of age drama Boyhood from 2015. The British cult classic Train Spotting by Boyle from 1996 and the harrowing indie drama by Shane Meadows, This Is England, from 2006. In component 2, the other examined elements of the course, worth a further 35% of the total available mark, you'll study global film perspectives. In this unit, we'll consider the development of film from its early years to its still emerging digital future. Studies in documentary, experimental and short films add to the breadth of the learning experience. The five films that we'll analyse in this section of the course are The Spanish box office hit Pan's Labyrinth from 2006 House of Flying Daggers from China 2004 The docufilm Amy from 2015 which presents an intimate portrait of the life and career of British singer-songwriter Amy Winehouse a historical silent film from 1927 called Sunrise. And finally, another cult classic and favourite of mine, Pulp Fiction by Quentin Tarantino, 1994. Production work is a crucial part of this specification and is integral to learner's study of film. So in the third and final component, a coursework unit worth the remaining 30% of the course, you'll use your knowledge of film, learned throughout component 1 and 2, to produce either a short film of 4 to 5 minutes in length, or a screenplay for a short film with an accompanying storyboard. This course, examined by Educast, is truly diverse and is a subject that I'm sure you'll enjoy and learn a lot from. If you choose to tick the option box for film studies, I look forward to welcoming you in September. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please do get in touch.